Uh, let's get more on Obama and financial regulation with Promontory Financial Managing Director David Nason. Uh, he was an advisor to former Treasury Secretary Hank Paulson and also helped create the TARP program during this crisis. He joins us live uh, from D.C. David, uh, good to have you with us. And, um, Thanks. You know, I know Peter outlining essentially what Obama is going to be saying, but uh, let me ask you uh, perhaps an odd question here. Uh, is Obama selling financial regulation properly, do you think, to the public? Uh, I think he is. I think he's doing what, what, only, what only he can do, which is go to Wall Street and try to communicate to people why financial regulatory reform is necessary. It's obviously a very technical piece of legislation, but if the president can connect why this legislation is important to the financial crisis, then I think that's probably a winning combination for him. Uh, and it'll be a long time, right, David, before we know, of course, whether or not these regulatory reforms are working. So how do you get that? How, do you, you know, how does Obama sort of balance that? Uh, with uh, his relationship with Wall Street CEOs. Well, that's exactly right. I mean, because what, what's interesting about the bill is the bill sets some guidelines, but a lot of the actual proposals get pushed down to the federal regulators, and the federal regulators decide how all this gets, how all this works out. So I think Obama needs to show action. He needs to show that they're doing things in response to the crisis. But really, it's true. The substance of what is being proposed is not going to come online for a while. Yeah, it, 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 not, it isn't indeed, and perhaps won't get tested really until we see this next crisis right. uh, somewhere down the road. Uh, David, you know, you were at the Treasury, you dealt a lot with this with these bank CEOs when you were forming the TARP program, you were going through this crisis. Uh, how does, though, this regulation complicate the relationship with Wall Street? Because to some degree, the White House needs Wall Street on board. Right. I, I think it's a very delicate balance that the, the industry has to have with the administration. I, I think that the industry just wants rules that are workable for them. And what they're afraid of is that some of the people writing the rules may not understand the consequences of their business associated with those rules. So it's trying to find the right balance between everyone, pretty much everyone agrees that we're going to have tighter regulation. The, 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 the real interesting thing is can you find how that tighter regulation doesn't stop the ability for these Wall Street firms to conduct the business that I think everyone thinks is pretty important. Well, how do you think how do you think the relationship has has gone from the time that you were at Treasury dealing with Lloyd Blankfein and Jamie Dimon to now? Has it deteriorated to the point uh, where there's there, there's an immense amount of hostility between the two? It's hard to say hostility. I, what I would say is that there's a lot more political pressure and a lot more political attention on that particular relationship. And that, that, that makes things much harder to get common sense, good policy out of Washington. If there's a lot of political theater around everything that the administration and the Congress does to Wall Street or with Wall Street, then it makes things much more hard to get good, sound public policy coming out of the Congress. Mm, okay. All right. A lot of political noise, of course. I'm David. Good to talk mm -hmm. with you. Thank you so much, David Nason.